Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop for this Sunday football day episode. Alright guys, I'm ready to get the lead out. I got the wings all fitted last night. Uh, spars are glued in. And them bad boys ain't going nowhere. And I'm ready to get all this done so I can get to doing some glassing. Alright, and first I've got to take down this leading edge. i got to cut four inches off the top of the vertical stabs. So I can then glue these on. Okay. Now, I gotta take down these, I wanna take down these leading edges before I cut the top off. I'm gonna use my plane. You know, I'd rather use a plane any day than sand where I can. Helps keep it straighter. Don't have the big all the dust. Beautiful. Couple swipes and them boots are done. and straight. And the Cowboys are playing Minnesota today. Looks like them Vikings showed up to play some football. Oh man. A pretty good drive so y'all's gonna have to watch me watch TV. <laughs> The main thing about these planes is getting them adjusted right. They're kind of a pain sometimes getting them adjusted, but once you get them dudes adjusted just right, they are nice. Best thing about it is you don't have a whole bunch of sawdust. Let's fill that lid. There's just a little one right there. I'll block it later with my long block sander after I get both sides. And a long aluminum block. Some hundred grit on there. Get bad boy straight. Beautiful. Man. You got to swap foams. Hold them on them foams. That part broke off, but it's good to uh, use these foam pieces as long as I can to keep from denting the wood up. You guys know how to get dents out of boss wood though? You know, I can drop this on there, bam, and leave a big old nasty dent. You know how you get that dent out? Let's get it wet. Come back tomorrow. <laughs> really? You know, if you got a monocoated airplane that's got a big old nasty crease in it, you know, and the boss wood underneath, you know how you fix that? You gotta take a hypodermic needle with water and inject it. Say if this is your crease, 
you know just about every quarter inch make an ejection you know going from different angles and just get that crease wet under that monocoat back next day it'll be gone oh yeah oh yeah there's a trick for you try that you got your favorite plane it's monocoat it's got a big old nasty den in it get some water in there be gone you about got to use a hypodermic needle if it's under the monocoat but if it's just on top get it wet now I can put a big old gouge across there with my fingernail or something to show you but this last name my word on it <laughs> try a little piece of scrap also Now, I'm, not, I'm talking about a, a, a crease, not a puncture, or where you actually break the wood. I'm talking about just creases. <coughs> Dents. I've done it. I got to glue my bottom piece on there. I'm going to do that next before I trim that off so I don't have to do it to a bunch of little pieces. You know, the rudder and all that. Trixie, get away from this. <laughs> you got to go eat that wood. Actually, you know, the question is, do I glue these on before I glass it or after? And you know what? I think if I do my glassing first and then trim it or glue it on, I'll, I'll get a better seam and I won't gush resin way up here. I think it'd be cleaner. I think that would probably be best. And hope I don't need a bunch of filling. Yep, I believe so. So now I want to take fiberglass that I laid up a couple weeks ago I got to put a piece I got a piece put a piece on the bottom of here then I'll sand that and I'll have a nice crisp sharp corner man and then I'll when I glass these they'll come out better yep 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 there's the plan 
So we'll be back in the shop on this Sunday afternoon. I'll make some videos and I'm going to get some of this done so I can get the glass in. So we'll see you right back here in the 